This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather, ho there. It's Jeff Cutter Diamond. We welcome you to another sports catastrophe, Birthday Boy. And today's Birthday Boy is on February 24th. And it is James Brown. Not the guy. Not from Sex Machine or I Feel Good or um, a lot of other songs. It's this guy. It's James Brown, the broadcaster. He's 70 years old today. He is basically a star for, for well, he is a CBS. He does the NFL today on CBS and does Thursday Night Football as well. He was known for being the former host of Fox NFL Sunday for 11 years. So, he had a chance to try out for the Atlanta Hawks in the mid-70s. He decided to enter the corporate world, working for Xerox and Kodak. He went into sports broadcasting when he was offered a job doing Washington, doing Washington Bullets, now called Wizards, a TV broadcast as well as an analyst job for the NBA on CBS, paired with Frank Lieber. He would be an anchor for WUSA in Washington and to some work at CBS Sports. Brown was rehired by CBS in 87, being play-by-play -play -play announcer for the NFL and college basketball coverage, as well as being a reporter for the NBA Finals, who actually called games with Tommy Heinsoy, Heinsane during the 1990 NBA playoffs. And he also did the 1990 NLCS between the Pirates and the Reds. I was just right. He was basically studio host for a couple of Olympics, the 92 Winter Games and 94 Winter Games. And he was even co-host of CBS Sports Saturday slash Sunday, which was a weekend anthology series. All that. And then Brown got taken away from CBS as Fox gave him the chance to be host of the NFL and Fox pregame show when Fox got NFL broadcasting. He shared the set with Terry Bradshaw, Howie Long, and Jimmy Johnson. And also had to do with Chris Collinsworth and Ronnie Lott. From 94 to 98, Brown was the lead studio host for Fox NFL NHL Saturday. So yeah, when Fox had NHL games on, it was amazing. Like that. He appeared in a similar capacity in NHL 97 which used motion, full motion video. So yeah, he was a studio host for Andrew 97. I did not know that. That's kind of cool. But he put on PlayStation and Sad Sega Saturn. He even had some voice work in Madden 2001, which was nice. Brown actually left in 2005 to join CBS back. He wanted to be closer to his home in Washington, which broadcast the NFL today out of New York City whereas Fox NFL Sunday was in L.A. He tried to do college basketball, but basically he was removed. He still does college basketball pregame, halftime, and postgame shows while Greg Gumbel is on assignment. Basically, yeah. Brown would actually host the world's funniest that would actually be Fox's counterpart of America's Friends Home Videos, Coast to Coast, and was a correspondent for Real Sports with Brian Gumbel. So he did some stuff and all that. Um, I'll talk about his most famous TV thing, but anyway, his career timeline. He was an NBA on CBS color commentator. He was basically a color commentator from 84 to 85 for that. College basketball, 84 to 86. NBA sideline report from 87 to 90. NFL play-by-play -play guy from 87 to 93. NBA play-by-play uh, um, -play for a few years. College basketball play-by-play -play from 90 to 93 and then 2007. Major League Baseball sideline reporter. 94 Fox to, to 05 NFL Fox Sunday host. NHL and Fox studio host for... The years that Fox had NHL hockey, and now he's the NFL Today's host, inside the NFL host, and a substitute anchor on CBS Evening News. Brown resides outside Washington, Bethesda, Maryland, with his wife Dorothy and daughter Katrina. 
Well, he has three granddaughters and one grandson, born as Katrina. Brown was actually a, is a minority owner of the Washington Nationals baseball team. Okay. So anyway, yeah. So that was kind of cool. But for me, James Brown will always be remembered for being part of pop culture in the episode of Buried with Children near the end when Al tries to take a sweet potato pie home from Aunt May or whatever her name was. Because he would always do one every year and all that. And then when she finds out that when he finds out she's gone, she he does he goes to the funeral trying to find a sweet potato pie. And then he bumps into James Brown. And Al recognizes him right away as James Brown. The guy on NFL on Fox. And Brown says, Yeah, but I also do hockey. And Al goes, Well, who cares about that? Even though Chicago's got a Robert NHL fan base. So anyway, James Brown was actually in this, and basically said that he knew Al Bundy because his aunt would basically tell James, do well in school, I don't end up like Al Bundy. And Al says, glad I could help, sarcastically, of course. So basically, James Brown was told to stop Al from swiping the last potato pie. Sweet potato pie. And Al broke a field up and beat him to the punch. In the post credit scene, in the post credits scene of that episode, basically the NFL on Fox people, Bradshaw, Lott, and Howie Long, basically ribbed James Brown for not able to stop Al Bundy. And that is funny and all that. Yeah, James Brown was pretty much a good guy. He was basically a studio host. And that's not a bad profession. At least you're doing something. So anyway, cheers to you, James Brown. Get on up. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.